I went with my father um, when they served overseas to, uh, to Kenya and to Malaya and Cyprus. And of course one was immersed uh, as a child into the sort of family atmosphere of the, of the Suffolk Regiment as it, as it was certainly for Malaya and, and, and Cyprus. So I was brought up um, pretty well understanding what um, the army was about at that time. Although my father never particularly encouraged me to join, I think he would perhaps rather I went into something with a little more cerebral, um, I think he wanted me to be a lawyer um, or an engineer. Um, but uh, at, when I was at school, probably at about 14 or 15, I decided what I really wanted to do was to join the army and follow him. And how about both of you? Um, I presume you've had a lot of stories from, from your dad? And I think it's probably a, a, a pretty similar something. similar story. Yeah. There's no real pressure to join, again, join the army, but um, I suppose with uh, generations, it's in our genetics somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't really remember envisaging any other career apart from joining the army. So I didn't remember your dad was saying, be a lawyer. Yes, no. exactly. <laughs> yeah. yes. I think the only, the, only, uh, <laughs> the, only, the only advice we got was don't join the RAF. So, um, <clears throat> That was about it, I think. <laughs> well, I think a lot of it is to do with the fact that um, serving in the military is still, to a degree, vocational. Um, you know, the, uh, I think there's still quite a lot of excitement, a lot of travel. It appeals to young men who don't particularly want to sit behind a desk um, with a bit of excitement. So, so there's still very much that cachet that goes with it. And I think, I'm looking, I've got four sons. And uh, I mean, certainly my youngest, he keeps on stealing all of my kit. You know, he, he, you know, before you know it, half of it's in the garden as he's building a den in the air, uh, um, you know, going shooting things um, with his toy pistols and things. So it's, um, uh, I think it's just one of those, it's, a, you know, it's big boys' toys, I think, is, is largely what it comes down to. And there's still quite a lot of fun to be had for, for, for young men.